Hey guys, it's Shani and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm doing a no makeup makeup look using only drugstore products and I'm going to try and limit the brushes that I'm using as well. So it's just really minimal products and super easy to recreate. So I hope you guys like this video. Give it a big thumbs up and let's jump straight into it. The first thing I'm doing is taking my Simple Kind of Skin Rich Moisturizing Lotion. I would recommend moisturizing your face no matter how much makeup or how little makeup you are applying. And it doesn't matter if you have oily skin, moisturizer is a must. This one's great, it's super cheap, and it works so well. I've been using it for years. This is just gonna make the products that we put over the top go on a lot smoother. And you wanna make sure that you put moisturizer under your eyes as well because you don't want that concealer bunching up to all the dry patches under there. For primer, I'm taking the NYX Angel Veil Primer. So I'm just gonna put a little pea size on the back of my hand and work this into my skin. This is a really thick consistency, so it feels so nice rubbing it onto my skin. It's like a mousse. To even out the skin tone, I'm taking my Chi Chi Super CC Cream. This one is in the shade medium to tanned. This has like a really I would say it has a really decent coverage, but it still looks super natural on the face and it feels really light. I love the color as well, it's super neutral. It matches really well to my fake tan. So the brush that I'm using is the Real Techniques Buffing Brush. This is from Priceline. So let's do this. See how freaking full coverage this is. I'm gonna really buff it into my skin. Make it look super natural. Oh my God, this matches so well to my neck. Girl. The more we blend it out, the more natural it's going to look. I guess the purpose of this video is to make it look like we have very natural, minimal makeup. If you guys want to literally just look like you have no makeup, I'd probably just recommend doing a very, very light, sheer application of tinted moisturizer and then a touch of mascara or just curly lashes. Otherwise, it is kind of obvious that you're wearing makeup, but we're going to keep it very natural today. Now for concealer, I'm taking the Maybelline Fit Me in the shade 10. So I haven't used this concealer before, but I've heard that it is absolutely amazing. So as you can see, my face is looking very plain, like just one color. So I want to give myself a natural highlight under my eyes, um, but nothing too dramatic. So let's do this. You're probably thinking nothing too dramatic. What? I'm going to blend this in with the Real Techniques sponge. This is so good for blending out concealer. I do much prefer beauty blenders and I'm pretty sure they're only like $5 more expensive than these sponges right here. The beauty blenders just apply uh, foundation a lot smoother. This one makes my foundation a bit patchy, but for concealer, it is amazing. I'm also going to put this over my eyelids as well, just to cancel out any discoloration on there. To set under the eyes, I'm taking the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. So this powder is amazing. I've hit pan on it. I'm so sad about that. But I really like to bake under my eyes, whether it's like, oh my god, I have fluff on my nose. Whether it's a really natural look or really dramatic, just because it makes the concealer under the eyes not budge at all. So to bake, I'm just going to... Get a little powder up so i'm just going to scrape up some powder you're probably thinking what the hell but i put this in a hacks video and it worked really well so it should look something like this i'm just going to take a bit on my beauty blender and pat this under my eyes where the concealer is this is really gonna stay put all day let me tell you honey then taking a little bit more of that powder i'm going to use it to set the rest of my face just super lightly because we still want a little bit of glow to come through. And I'm just going to dust this bake away. To tidy up the brows a little bit, I'm taking the Maybelline Master Brow Pro Palette. I'm just going to pick up this shade right here and just put a tiny bit in my brows to add a bit more color back into them. And whatever is left on my brush, I'm just going to take this through the front of my brow really lightly. Now it's time to curl my lashes. So when we put the mascara on, they'll be nice and curly and long. 
This is the first makeup tutorial that I've done in the longest time without putting on false lashes. It's like the weirdest feeling. So for mascara, I'm going to take the Maybelline The Falsies Push-Up Drama. It's so confusing because it's like, what side untwist? It's the red side. I'm just going to wiggle this side to side in my lashes just to add a little bit of volume and length. I always like to focus most of the mascara on the outer half of my lashes to make kind of like a cat eye eyelash effect. I'm just going to add a really light coat to my bottom lashes. Oh my god, this honestly adds so much length. For the cheeks, I'm going to take this Maybelline Fit Me Blush in the shade Light Rose. And the brush that I'm using is a Revlon contour brush. This one is pretty good. They're kind of expensive though, so uh, um, this one has a lot of shimmers throughout it, so it's going to act as a highlighter as well. This one's just going to add a nice wash of colour to the cheeks. Really, really, really natural. This would have to be one of the most natural blushes I've ever seen in my life. Just for a touch of warmth, I'm going to take the Maybelline Dream Sun Bronzing Powder in the shade 03 Bronze. So this is going to go around the forehead very, very lightly. And also a little tiny bit under the cheekbones. You can't even tell that the bronze is on my face. You just want to keep a really, really light hand with this product. For the lips, I'm just going to make them look a little bit more defined with the NYX Retractable Lip Liner in the shade Natural. Oh my god. Oh my god. It literally just fell out. Okay, so I'm going to take the NYX Retractable Lip Pencil in the shade Nude instead. This honestly is such an amazing shade. It really just makes my lips look more juicy. So on the lips, I'm going to take the Maybelline Baby Lips in the shade Candy Wow Peach. So I'm just going to dab this on really lightly because it is very pigmented. So it has a lip gloss and a lip tint in one. It's really good. My lips are so dry at the moment. And lastly, I'm just going to blot my lips so it's not too shiny or the color isn't too intense. So there we have the finished makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. You can definitely see a little bit of makeup still, but it is super natural and it honestly takes five minutes if that. So that's what I'm talking about, honey. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and I will speak to you very soon. Bye.